Hi, my name is Marsha, I'm the blonde from Coding Blonde, and today let's talk about career. I get a lot of career related questions and the most popular one is probably what programming language should I learn to get a good job? And today I want to talk about Python and how that programming language in particular can add to your CV and help you find a good job. First of all, I want to say that I'm a huge believer in doing whatever makes you happy. So think about what that is first. However, I started learning how to code when I wanted to make my CV or resume stand out and make myself more marketable and more employable. So I completely understand that point of view as well. And this is one of the reasons why I'm creating this video today to show you how Python can help you do just that. So if you're approaching the subject from that perspective, or if you're trying to change a career and are looking at a way to dive into this wonderful world of technology, this video is for you, my friend. This video is brought to you by Hackbread Academy, the engineering school for women. They're based in the Bay Area and they run awesome in-person full stack developer courses and they put a lot of focus on career development. That's why I think they have such high employment rates after graduation and I love that approach to education. So back to career and resumes. When it comes to the world of tech, it's wonderful, but also a little bit overwhelming and intimidating. Where should you start? What skills will make you stand out? What will give you the flexibility and open doors to new opportunities in the future? Again, I think that it really depends on what you want to do, what you enjoy doing, and where you want to take your career and life. However, today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite programming languages, Python, and how that can enhance your skill set. Before we jump in, I just want to let you know that I've already made a video about why I think Python is so great. You can watch it using the link up here somewhere. So today I'm approaching this purely from the career standpoint and on how employable that will make you. So first of all, it shows off your technical skills. It is unbelievably impressive when you have Python on your resume or CV, even if you don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis, because it shows that you can think as a computer. It shows that you understand the logic. You have an understanding of how things work. And it's relatively easy to learn, which is, you know, a win-win situation. It's easy to learn. It impresses your potential employers or colleagues or whoever you want to impress. And also it opens doors to future opportunities on possibilities, which is amazing, right? So great language. <laughs> Career trajectories. I have mentioned how versatile Python is in the other video, but let me show you how versatile it really is by reading out some of the career profiles you can pursue with skills in Python. Web app development, game development, server operations, data science, data visualization, robotics, AI and machine learning. That's a lot. So having Python as one of your skills gives you the flexibility to potentially change between these industries if you really want to. Companies that use Python. We have touched upon this in the previous video. Um, that one over there, um, I mean, I keep on mentioning it, so just watch it already, but watch it after I'm done with this video, so yeah. Just press it once I'm saying goodbye. Uh, but I wanted to repeat this again because it is a great indicator of how many potential jobs there are out there and just a stamp of approval because a lot of big companies are using Python at their core. So let me just read just a few of them. Google, Facebook, Instagram, NASA, IBM, Pinterest, Dropbox, Spotify, Netflix, Amazon, Quora, and Reddit. I mean, I think you got the picture, right? A lot of companies are using it. It is in demand, so it will definitely definitely let you have great career opportunities if you're looking to use it as a day-to-day -day language. Promising pay. Well, now we're talking. Python was ranked the third highest paying language in 2017 after Objective-C and Java. ZipRecruiter estimates that the annual salary for a Python programmer ranges from $87,000 to $137,000 in the United States 
I mean, it might be different in other countries, but these are the statistics for, again, the United States. And of course, that is probably a salary of someone who is very experienced and pretty senior, but you get the point. It's a reference point and a nice one. Career fluidity and future opportunities. We've already touched on this when we're talking about the versatility bit, but I wanted to reiterate it once again because I think this makes Python super useful, super amazing to just, you know, learn one language and have it open so many different doors for you. You can probably tell that this is the big one for me because I think it's beautiful and amazing that you can learn this language and if you practice it, you can basically switch between all these different fields that it opens the opportunities for you. It just gives you that flexibility to pursue whatever your passion is. And that for me is amazing because I always like to think of a career path as opening doors. And I'm sure you've heard me talking about this before, but basically you have a set of doors in between you. And then once you walk into one door, you've taken a job opportunity, let's say, depending on your skills and the people you connect with and all that stuff, it opens a new set of doors. So Python opens a lot of different doors for you. And just the fact that a lot of AI and machine learning systems are using Python, I think shows that this language has a lot of future potential and yeah, there are very exciting things coming your way if you know Python and have skills in it. Convinced yet? Why don't we chat to career development specialists at Hackbright Academy, which is the engineering school for women, to see why they think Python is such a useful tool when it comes to boosting your career. You guys are in for a treat because I'm going to ask Maggie Mankin, the senior director of education, and Jen Lowe, the senior career developer, some questions. Hi, Maggie and Jen. Thank you very much for joining. I'm really excited to hear your thoughts on the subject. So first question. Why Python? What makes it special for career development? Hi, my name is Maggie Mankin and I'm the Senior Director of Education at Hackbright. And I'm Jen Lowe, I'm the Senior Career Developer here at Hackbright. Um, so there are two main reasons why we teach Python. The first is that it is a marketable job skill um, in today's software engineering ecosystem. So knowing Python uh, makes you a versatile candidate for uh, many jobs and Jen's going to tell you about the various roles that are open to you. But uh, Python is uh, growing in popularity ever since we adopted it in 2012 as our core primary programming language. It's only grown um, steadily um, as a core language that companies use, but also as a just tool that pretty much any team that you'll join will use. So companies like Dropbox, Yelp, and YouTube use Python. The second reason why we teach Python, um, and this is really why we've kept Python, is because it's a really great language in which to learn core computer science. So uh, the way that Python syntax and the way that Python conventions are set up really encourage new programmers to think about things like code maintainability and testability. Um, it also encourages programmers um, to think in sort of an object-oriented fashion. Um, the ramp up time to learning Python is also uh, quite fast compared to other lower level languages like C or Java. So it kind of gets out of new newcomers' way and allows them to kind of learn some of the more intermediate concepts like data modeling or object orientation, um, rather than having to kind of learn how to implement basic data structures or other things that you might have to do in other languages. So it works really well in order to accelerate our students' learning so that they can join the industry um, very quickly. That's awesome. And in your experience, what career paths have Hackbride Academy alumni have chosen? Are they taking advantage of the fact that Python is so versatile? So yeah, a lot of hack writers, well, they go into a variety of different types of roles. The most common title we see is software engineer uh, for a hack writer alum. Um, and Python really just provides uh, a really solid basis for software engineering and specifically for web development. Aside from the software engineering title, other titles that our students go into include front-end engineer, a data analyst, a site reliability engineer, security engineer, technical support engineer, uh, developer evangelist, uh, and product manager, just to name a few. And the other thing that I'll say is that um, with Python as your first language, um, it's a great basis to go out and get a job in another programming language. So we don't see our, our alum just getting jobs in Python. They'll go and get jobs in Ruby or JavaScript, um, which are both kind of sibling languages to Python in terms of their level 
layer of abstraction that they create from the machine. We also see grads take roles that um, require lower level languages like Java or C. And a lot of companies will, you know, if you have a strong foundation and, and the aptitude and the motivation, they'll, you know, pay you to learn those new languages. Um, so teaching Python lets us give that strong foundation so that you can go in and kind of join a diverse set of teams, um, which is really excellent. But Python is a very versatile language and folks use it for things other than web development like data science, like machine learning, and we do see our grads come, both coming into Hackbright with that interest and passion for those things, and then they go off and sort of level up and, and pursue those uh, higher level roles, roles as well. That's amazing. And final question, what is the career development program at Hackbright Academy is like? What do you guys focus on? So a really, I think, huge part of Hackbright um, is the fact that we recognize your, that Hackbraters are coming to this program to change their careers. And so we start from week one uh, with our career development program, uh, which includes career coffees. And these are a combination of lectures, discussions, and workshops that we have as a group. Um, so each cohort gets this on a weekly basis. And some topics include uh, researching tech companies, how to tell your professional story, uh, resume workshop, um, and informational interviewing. Uh, in addition to career coffees, we also have one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions where students get to meet with a career developer. And this time is, is allotted to have a lot more personalized time to talk about their goals, their interests, um, as well as reflect on what they had done prior to Hackbright and how they can bring a lot of those transferable skills um, and different things that they've done in their previous careers. And also thinking about what worked well for them, what didn't work well for them, um, and how we can use that knowledge to think about what's going to be best fit for them moving forward in their engineering career. In addition to that, we also spend that time working on their resume, their LinkedIn, and coming up with a personalized job search plan for them after Hackbright. Uh, and then the, the last weeks of the Hackbright program include different career events. These can be a variety of things, including guest speakers. Um, our guest speakers uh, are people who are in the industry, uh, so they can be engineers, technical recruiters, CTOs, VPs of engineering. One of our really great returning speakers has been Steve Huffman, CEO of Reddit, uh, where he comes in and talks about his experience throughout his, his uh, career as a founder and kind of the lessons that he's learned along the way. Uh, in addition to guest speakers, we have different field trips at local tech companies. Um, so students get a chance to you know, not only learn about what it's like to work at a tech company, but also see it and feel it. Um, so they get to interact in and hear from different panelists um, and start to build on their network from the people who are hosting us. Um, and even after Half Right, uh, the support doesn't end there. We have continued alum career development support. So this comes in a variety of different forms. So we have uh, alum whiteboarding sessions led by mentors here at Hackbrite. Uh, we also have whiteboarding at different companies. We have tech talks also hosted by uh, either a guest speaker, um, a company, or it could be a Hackbrite alum as well. And then there are different recruiting events like our quarterly career fair. Um, and when students are also, or alum rather, are going through the job search, they can even continue coming back to have one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions with a career developer. Uh, so whether that be wanting to kind of strategize the next steps in the, in the job search, um, or when things are going really well, we want to figure out how to go about negotiating um, if they have an offer in hand. Thanks, bye. Thank you, Megan and Jen. That was very useful and very insightful, and I'm sure the audience is convinced by now. As you can see, Hackbright Academy, which is the engineering school for women, has an awesome career development and mentorship team. And that's definitely a big part of the reason why 71% of their graduates find a full-time position very soon after graduating. And because the courses are so awesome, the alumni are now working in companies like Amazon, Uber, Dropbox, Yelp, Eventbrite, Slack, SurveyMonkey, and Intuit. So I hope that now you see why Python is such a great skill to add to your resume. And if you're interested in elevating your career to the next level and doing a course with Hackbrite Academy, make sure to check out the link in the description for more information and to apply. And if you're a woman who is not based in the Bay Area, but you would love to do a course with Hackbrite Academy, I have good news for you because this coming fall, Hackbrite Academy is launching an online course which is going to be called Intro into Python Programming. Hackbrite Academy is super excited to give even more women access to this opportunity to start their programming careers. Also, if you haven't watched my video about Python and why it's so great, again, the link is here. 
and in the description. Yes, it's there too. And I wanted to thank the awesome people at Hackbright Academy once again for supporting this video. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.